Cool. There's like two, but whatever. All right. Yeah, yeah, Jared Leto. He's going to Jared Leto his way through Morbius. We talked about this. This, this means that he's not going to play the Joker. No, he'll play both. He's, he's going to do it. Away. Because now it's very clear to anybody who can get a superhero role that they're going to take it. Because that's big guess, cash money. Because Lawrence Fishburne technically is still alive in the Superman movies, but he's also an Ant Man. Anyone who laughed yeah. at superhero movies as an actor is now a hundred percent racing for anything they'll they'll get. This now Jared Leto's apparently playing Michael. I need your plasma, Morbius, with the hand suckers in a spinoff movie. So Venom is going to be the first Sony like Spider-Man. There was another spin-off movie I think we talked about briefly. It was Silver and Black. S- Silver and Black. Which was the Silver, Silver Sable, Sable and, and that Black got Hat. like kind of indefinitely canceled. How or many whatever. Spider-Man spin-offs without Spider-Man can we make? You should make zero. There's a, there's a billion. You should make zero. We're doing the whole uh, SCU. Do you think? I guess. Do you think they're going to have... Or NSCU. The I don't even not consider Not Spider-Man this, Cinematic do you Universe. you consider Michael Morbius a Spider-Man character? I consider him a Blade character. I, I also Which is why... The dark part of the Marvel Universe. To me, character. the only reason to make this movie is because what? You, you fucking get, get Wesley. There'll be a, a, a newsstand that says Daily Bugle, and that's it. You get Wesley, and then you make everyone's fucking minds pop. I have a question. And the that moment where he sick. shows up and that you go, yeah, sick. he's here. I have a question. Because he's a Blade villain. What's he's not question? a Spider-Man both villain. Both of you, this what? is a hypothetical. He is both. Do you think that with this spinoff stuff, and I'm going to assume there's some kind of deal here in which Marvel's like, can you not just have a Spider-Man movie, let us do the Spider-Man, whatever. Because all these spinoffs make it look like they don't have a Spider-Man movie. And the they, they agreed to Spider-Man at least on his own. Right. But they still, they're still they still feeling frisky and Do want the rest. Do you think that much anyone over at the Sony has the balls to attempt a Ben Riley movie? Well, Scarlet? to be fair, yeah. Ben Riley might very well be in the, the CG movie because they're throwing all the Spider-Mans it's, in there. It's not Spider-Man. Wait, which CG movie? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait, wait. Yeah, the new one. Yeah, yeah, sorry. It's not Spider-Man, yes. man. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes. Looks amazing. Looks amazing. It's, Looks super amazing. Yes. It's Scarlet uh, Spider. Um, it's a spinoff. Um, no, no. Uh, the answer is no. You know what? Like, here's the thing. No, unless they get really desperate. Because I could see that being... Because you can't do Peter Parker forever. No, but you remember what we read about um, Silk? Reboots, rather. Last yes. week, we talked about Silk. Yeah, apparently they want to uh, do a Silk movie. Right, so we talked about that, right? And, and Silk's and, awesome, though. But but the idea is that like in this not-Spider-Man cinematic universe, yeah. <laughs> which I'm going with, the NSCU, um, it seems as if like there's enough not-Spider-Men to grab and do shit with even though Homecoming and Far From Home are going to be their so own things. I, when, when, I was a, when I was a kid, I realized how big Spider-Man really is because they released that set of cards. It was just the Spider-Man collectible card like set, like Fleer Ultra, Marvel Masterpieces. Spider-Man got his own, where every much like um, the Marvel Universe Series 3 that had the connecting galaxy backgrounds, every single card made a nine card like diorama. I know exactly which one you're talking and about. Awesome. I had that. And they're all drawn by Mark Bagley and they had all these characters and some of them were like old that appeared. If you started in a Spider-Man comic, so maybe Morbius very is. If your first appearance was in a Spider-Man comic, eh, I'm, Sp- I'm going to kill you, Spider-Man, I consider you then a Spider-Man villain. Did Morbius start in Spider-Man? He may very well have. I have no have. idea. Uh, we'll find out. The I'm the sure one thing I will say is that the um, if you want to talk about how, how when you knew Spider-Man was big, yeah. I knew Spider-Man was big when I saw the list of most popular characters and he was number one. Really? And then uh, Batman and Spider-Man and Superman were like when second. When was this? Distant second. Like this was back when the I'd say Tom McFarlane. This was back when the DCU was first getting started. So I remember reading about this around the time of um, Superman Returns. Okay, where there were like straight up Spider Man equals number one, Batman equals number two. Power gap. I I just considered it when Spider Man, just the the new comic that has the iconic um, Todd McFarlane art. 
of him just sitting there with all the spiders around him. That yeah. that was the highest selling comic of mm-hmm. all time for like a spell or maybe I have, uh, I have like an just answer think to your just question. just yes. think about think about how many. No, shut up! I want to know about Morbius. Michael Morbius first appeared in the Amazing Spider Man One Hundred and One. There you go. There you go. Making him a Spider Man villain. Furthermore. The Midnight Suns, yeah, oh, aka so the happy. Spirits of Vengeance, to be talking about this. Are a group shit. including uh, here, here, Johnny on. Blaze. Yeah, we got the fucking picture. We Johnny got, Blaze. We got the Midnight Suns. Yeah, yeah, Suns. yeah. Oh my god. Oh, what's his fucking name? I'm not gonna look at it. The guy in the blue mask. Um, it's like is Night. That Moon Knight. No, it's Prowler. Dark Hold? Dark Hold? Who's Dark Hold? No, wait. Dark Hold. Oh, shit. It's happening no, again. Hold. Something else. No, 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 no. All right. Oh. Former members. Yeah, yeah. Who are all the fucking... Blade, Blade. Johnny Blaze, Doctor Strange, Strange, Frank Dre, Ghost Rider. Hannibal King. Hannibal King, Dark Hold Redeemers, Morbius, Louise Hastings, and Victoria Montesi. Who the fuck's that guy? It's got to be Dark Hold Redeemers. Because Dark Hold was like this evil like group. Look at that name. Oh, it was a group of beings. Okay, so yeah. they were. So maybe he's I don't Hannibal know King. Called. No, Hannibal King is um, is uh, uh God, uh, private Deadpool. detective. No, Deadpool, with the actor, um, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, he played Hannibal King in Blade Trinity. Oh my God, that guy. Okay, sure. shut up. That, I didn't. Yeah, re- yeah, I didn't really? even. I didn't yeah. even realize that was not a made up character. Hannibal King. I didn't even realize that was not a made up character. Wow. Yeah, okay. Put, put him the in guy who made fun of Triple H. A bunch? Yeah, he's Hannibal King. That's crazy. Man, that movie's trash. Yeah, Triple H is in it though. Yeah, he's got a fake. He has a, fa- he has a dog. Fake metal nose. Well, dude, I don't know because like everyone Whatever. on that list, yeah, that is a fun. name that's not a thing, and like <laughs> this guy's just here. So, I don't know. Anyway, he's there though. The Midnight Suns. No, it's somebody else. Because it says the Dark Hole Redeemers, Louise Hastings, Victoria Montesi. It does. Whoa! What are we looking Rose at? Those badasses. It's We're the looking Punisher. at a cover. It's Ghost Rider. That looks like, I guess, Blade. New Blade. Yeah, well, he's I holding a Blade. Hannibal it's Wesley King. Snipes' haircut. I think that's Hannibal King in the red. Uh, it's just wearing the Codell. That's obviously Doctor Strange. How new is this? This looks pretty new. That came out tomorrow. That's last year. Wait, this Midnight Sun series needs to be a thing. Is it fake? It might be just a fake piece of art to fool Matt. It's fake. It's <laughs> a whole cottage industry of getting your hopes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's unclear. Greg. It's unclear. His name is Greg. In any case. In any case. Mar- Marvel's Morbius. I, I, am, I am 50-50 whether this will actually even come out. The Morbius movie? Yeah, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a thumbs down. Oh, yeah, that was Moon Knight. going to happen. It was Moon Knight? That was Moon Knight back there. It was just a different crazy costume? No, no, no. Not the guy with the, on the other car. Co- the other the guy all in white? The guy all in white. That was Moon Knight back there. No, yeah. there was another guy. This Morbius movie's not going to happen. There was another guy. Are we doing this? There was a guy that had the most Spawn-esque costume. And we're, it was we're a do- Spider-Man we're, Was guy. it Spawner-Man? It wasn't. We're, we're doing this. Does anyone know? There's a guy that wore a Spawn-like costume. And he was a... He, I think he's a black dude underneath that put on this costume. And his name was like Night Thrash, not Night Thrasher. That's a no. That's dude. that's Night Thrasher's the shit that caused the shit ass warriors. that caused Civil War. He's cool. Yeah, Night Thrasher's awesome. Fucking what holding was his a stick. Was it Darkhold? The Fallen. Because it, it looked I'm, like it. I'm telling you, it was Spawner Man. All right, hold on a minute. Spawner Man. Yeah, you missed it the first okay, time. Okay, hold when on. I here we go. It, the Midnight Suns. All right. Midnight Suns members. Maybe it was Dark Hole. Werewolf I think you're just by describing Night. Describing Spawn. Hellstorm. Damon Hellstorm. No, you're not talking about Damon no, no, Hellstorm. No, Hellstorm is a different thing. Okay. Hybrid looked like Spawn. Hybrid. Okay. Dark Hole was definitely its own comic, and it had the girl and some dude. That's something else. But what was the guy? You might be thinking of Hybrid. He had a long cape. No, it's not a Hybrid. He had a long cape, and he was like involved. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> Who the f- <laughs> this is this is a that, is one this? of those other Marvel fights. Earth games. one two one three one. Who the fuck is this loser? Hi- no, he looks cool. Agony Lasher, Phage and Riot. They all hybrided. Oh, the unforgettable sound. <laughs> this version of hybrid can mimic the abilities of them. 
Oh, he's going to be in the Venom movie. So for it's sure. all the it's Venom. All the yeah. fuck, it's all separation anxiety together? Hybrid theory. What? That's super busted. Oh, man. Well, that's a fucking. Look at this super symbiote, though. <laughs> he's really, like, fucking. He looks like a that's badass. That's like some kind of anime villain. It's like super carnage. Damn it. Wow. Okay. Right. I, I need to look up the guy I'm thinking of, and let's press on. We pr Regrettably. Regrettably. Yes, very regrettably. We press on. Like, there's nothing I like better than but the, talking about Thanks for nothing, stuff. Jared Leto. I, yeah, I mean, it just, you know, like, the names listed here are the same ones, right? There's nothing popping up new in this. And they keep saying the same ones I, I don't. I don't think he's part of it. Oh, you're just going elsewhere with it. No, okay. no, but he's a very, like, he's a dark, scary character, but... Mm. Well, anyway. Spawner, man. Here's the thing, right? Jared Leto doing his fucking... Like fictional parody version of himself, yeah, is basically Morbius if he throws an accent on yeah, well, it. Yeah, what's he gonna do? Run around biting the cast? Well, he's gonna first. He's gonna stare at, at around and, and with his eyes being creepy, and he's gonna sip wine wait, for a while. Wait, like, put in Night Watch. Night one Watch. Word, Marvel. Night, Night Watch. I and one word. I foresee Jared Leto like next to refusing yeah. to act in the daylight or other such dumbass things. Night That's Watch. Him. You're talking about this Nightwatch. guy. What I've seen him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know this fucker. I <laughs> look. Oh my god. Oh my god. Click off that. Look at the image below it. Look. This one. Yeah. Spike Lee is gonna make one. Wait. What? Okay. No. 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 I know. Why do I know this? Because he's a Spider-Man guy. Did I have up. a copy? I didn't have a copy of this. He's in some issue. Look, but, he got his own thing. No, but he I know up this stuff. logo. I fucking know it. I know that Look logo. Look Spawn ripoff. I might have thrown out a copy of this book. Do you know how I found his name? I put in Spawn ripoff. Oh, man. Spike Lee made direct a movie for Sony to, to paste on Marvel character Nightwatch. When is this from? Wait, this is 2018? This is March 2018? Yeah, it's a few months ago. Nightwatch was first introduced in 1993 as the alter ego of African-American scientist Dr. Kevin Trench, who witnessed a costume man die battling terrorists while armed with invisibility-generating cloaking devices. So he spawned in and out of costume. Yes. Because Al's black, too. The superhero team that was Spider-Man, Captain America, and Deathlock, oh, Jesus, among other heroes in the comic books. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm, I'm very happy with today's progress. Give a hacky character to a hacky director. Do it. This is a Spike Lee joint. Nobody cares. Oh my Nightwatch God. is going to be living the dream, guys. Wow. The dream. There's a picture of Spawn right wow. there. Wow. Look at this guy. Look at this Cadillac of superheroes. Also, disclaimer, Spike Lee wasn't always a hack. He just became one later. Yeah. Um, This is fucking weird because... I'm this logo and this cover <laughs> is fucking getting me like hard. Like I know this from something, and I want to say comic books. I want to say like I didn't own it, but I want to say like my brother owned it. You okay, know, okay. I feel like he had this, and he would have marked out at this kind of design so, too. So he had a copy of Night Watch, and you had your action figure of the giant with the neck brace. Oh man, no, that was his. Uh, mine it's was mine. To, it's mine your, was the Goldberg that came yours with it. To me, and I had the Kevin Nash. It's yeah, yours. and then when his Hulk doll broke, he took the neck brace off the giant and tried to stitch Hulk back together with it. The neck yeah. brace doesn't come off the toy. It's permanently on it. Look Listen. at Nightwatch teaming up with Venom in a lot of covers. Fuck Why me. Why would you correct an Who's obvious that lie? Warbringer! Okay, you guys out there in Audio Land need to Google Warbringer every, every, Nightwatch Marvel Comics. Just Google every name that comes up. That's ever. correct. At Comic-Con, I'm going to get a bunch of these comics. Because, because what was the asshole with the red mask that, like, I, that had the, a blood strike was what a blood strike because that was another one of my brother's fucking he, he liked that character image, but yeah. yeah 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 I think blood strike did have a mask at some point but he also didn't have a mask in some images so this fucking yeah, character yeah, yeah. right in the middle, the middle this one. character blood strike the it's ultimate so cool. of that era like and my brother saw the first issue and he just lost his shit i think that's and too bought new. it super hard that's too new the image go back up take that one well i'm looking middle. for the issue that he had okay right and i'm trying to find the cover that he specifically had and none of these are the one but it was it was like it was like one of the premier issues and he's on the cover doing his kneels kneeled up pose with his knees everywhere with this one no 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 it's this one yeah this is the one i still have this I still have this. My, my brother, like, I tell like, what is he Buried fucking... in a capsule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, this might even be in the box. Cool. I, I bet you it's I, in the box. I bet you it's worthless. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. 
But look, Bloodstrike also doesn't have a mask sometimes. Oh, and then he turns into Cable? Yeah, he's, he's, it's Extreme Prejudice Part 7. Fuck. Yeah, they just Deadpooled really hard on this dude. I wonder when that Rob Liefeld cinematic universe is coming to Netflix is going to actually just stay and like become a thing. When do we get wet works, though? Uh, you'll because get... actually... I feel like, like all kidding oh. aside, I feel like Wetworks could Wetworks be... will come out when Wetworks issues did, which is one per year. It could, I, like, I, it could be a super ghetto, low budget, like three episode miniseries. Click the image in the bottom, bottom right. Check okay. out this chick. Yeah, who that? She had four arms and this little mask, and that's that's it. What's her name? Forearm. I forget what her name was. Oh, and she hung out with the fake Wolverine. Yeah, that's Deadlock. Yeah, 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 the fake Wolverine guy. Yeah. Look at the fucking dude with, he's literally just fake Wolverine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked about this. Look at this fucking character. He's what great. are you doing? Look at, this, look at this not Wolverine guy that Rob Liefeld Someone made. remastered Bloodstrike oh, and now we're like. back on this Wolverine ripoff. <laughs> You you always come back to this guy. And his name is so lame. It's Deadlock. Oh, of course it is. I thought it was Nighthawk. No, that's another Wolverine ripoff. Shut up! That's another one. No! No, Nighthawk is different. You're thinking of Shadowhawk. You're thinking of Shadowhawk. I didn't think of anything. Darkhawk is... But he's, no, he's not, not Darkhawk. Shadowhawk. Darkhawk's another All one. Right, let's press Not on. the same. Darkhawk is the Marvel one. He's got the Real big blady tears. arms. Yeah. And how bad you just got me. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> of course they'd rip off Wolverine multiple times. He's too good to rip off only once. Like Spider-Man. Yeah. And I was going to say, back when we were talking about him being, Spider-Man being number one, just think about how many, like, images you've seen of, like, some ghetto toy shop in a weird foreign country <laughs> that have a weird Spider-Man toy there, yeah. right? By, th by that logic, Shrek is the most popular. Yeah, but sure, true. but like that, the reason why you're seeing... But that yellow and purple Spider-Man in the toy bin that's next to Obama... And Black Bart. That, and that's there because Spider-Man is the most popular character in the world. And, like, then, and then my Vegeta and Bulma are right next to them. Sure, like him showing up on, on all the creepy YouTube videos with Elsa yeah. Gate, him showing up in Turkish fucking Spider-Man and Star Wars shit and, and and everywhere as the most parodied weird thing ever. It's because he's number one with a bullet. Like Look, nothing's he close. He buried Patrick on the beach and then Patrick died. Those videos are weird, man. Yeah, but that Frozen was... Frozen's pregnant though. I'm so glad we Frozen is pregnant. Yeah, Frozen, not Elsa. Frozen. That's what I said. Yep. Man, I sure love that part where they had that long date with Tangled. People cried. I'm I'm very happy that we talked about the dumb shit during Morbius. We barely talked about the story. I'm very happy with this. Can we move on? Yes, I've said twice we can. Like, you kept sticking around. You you say you're you're such an asshole. You're like, can we move on now? Says man <laughs> who has has blood on his hands from dragging the conversation over to the Google image search section. Of the I podcast. did tell him to go yeah. look at Night Watch though. You did. So it was my that. fault. You're, you guys are both at stake. Criminally responsible. Criminally responsible for these. <laughs>